have a very happy birthday as well. So um, it's interesting because like I was saying, it's a brand new beginning, it's a brand new month, it's a brand new year, and it's also, you know, the, the solar return in your cycle, indicating your birthday month. So a lot of things are happening here for you. And once again, I am constantly reminded, we have two cards about walking away. We do have a little bit of regret here coming through with the Five of Cups and then the Six of Cups. And then we see you pretty much burying yourself in work and doing the usual things to get your mind back on track and to get your life back in order. So there is going to be a little bit of a blockage here and I, I do sense once again it's not coming from you it is definitely coming in from from other people. You have made a very very um, sure-footed choice in order to start a new phase in your own life, okay? So I do feel that, you know, December and November were time periods in which you're starting to realize that, okay, um, I want to make changes to in certain things in my life, certain areas in my life. I'm not going to slave away. I'm not going to work and, you know, not get the recognition or the thanks that I deserve on the work front. You are still working very, very diligently, but for a lot of you, these changes are coming through on the work front where you feel that in the past you have been very um, willing and you're always the first to volunteer or to to offer help to people and I do sense that you might have been taking you might someone might have like taken you for granted or taken advantage of your kindness and your your willingness to help and they overworked you, they didn't appreciate your efforts, or they didn't, you know, give you the thanks and the recognition that you deserve. So it can play out in interpersonal relationship as well, but I do sense for a lot of it, your, your emotional state is pretty much linked in with your work environment. So I do feel that not getting that recognition or the thanks that you deserve on a work environment, it affects you on an emotional level. So I do feel for a lot of you, it might be just work overall. And you're sensing that now, moving forward, especially for 2016, you are going to do more work that makes you happy. So rather than always being, you know, willing to help other people and then as a result of helping other people, um, a lot of things and responsibilities that other people should take care of automatically pretty much just land on you. So now you're more selective about who it is that you're willing to help, who it is that you're even going to offer because you want that sense of reciprocity. You want somebody that is, um, you know, you want to help people in your life who understand balance in relationships, who understands that, you know, any type of a friendship or interpersonal relationship requires give and take from both parties, not just one person doing all the work and the other person sitting on the sidelines slacking off, okay? I do feel that for a lot of you, um, November, December were very, very incredibly busy months where you didn't have time to socialize. There might have been um, offers coming through, such as, you know, love offers or even romantic gestures or even friends and family and things like that wanting to associate, wanting to, to connect with you, but you were so busy that you might not have made the time for them, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. We, we all need to take care of things in our own lives, but I do feel a little bit of regret coming through in which you weren't able to say yes to the right people and say no to the wrong people. So this sense of realization is coming through for you for January for you to deal with, and I do sense that it is about time because I see that you're working so hard and there's still a lot more work that needs to be done. As a result of it, you are going to, um, you know, you're, you're making up your mind that I have to change my behavior when it comes to, you know, saying no to the wrong people. So, so that can be if people have been taking you for granted or taking advantage of you, then you're going to tell them, you know, enough's enough, I'm not going to do that, and I really need to devote my time, my energy to do the things that I like or to be with people that I, I love. So I guess that's a very long-winded way of saying that you're going to, you know, devote your time only to things that you like 
and exclusively to people that you actually care about. So this is a very positive um, energy that you're bringing into the new year because we all need to take care of ourselves. Okay, so this is a, a, an important realization. I don't feel um, you have to worry about, you know, people getting upset or anything like that because the point of the matter here is that we do have the hangman, which is about sacrifices. And this is sacrificing some things in your life that you know have not been that great, relationships especially, or even friendships and, you know, interpersonal relationships that have been very one-sided you're making that sacrifice you're um, starting to see how those relationships affect you negatively and you're vowing to um, to only allow the positive things into your life okay this is a card about sacrifice and seeing things from a different perspective feeling a sense of enlightenment and doing things in a different way so you have three cards here that indicate to me moving away and basically um, skimming down or at least scrapping away things from your life that are not really working. So you have the death card, eight of cups, as well as the hangman. These are, you know, all indicative of changes, major drastic changes that are happening in our lives. And when they all come out three as a unit, I do feel that you are not going back to it, okay? This can also be, as well, people that you've grown up with and you share important life milestones with. But emotionally, you're no longer on the same page, okay? So it's just really important to know that, you know, we all have people in our lives. We all have, like, long histories with, with someone. But um, sometimes, you know, you outgrow the other person. And it is important for the relationship to just subside so that you can find new people and they themselves can find new people that they can learn their next life lesson from and progress with the, the next phase of their life with, okay? So that's very, very important to, to um, take heed of. For a lot of you, too, I do feel we do have the Hierophant card next to the Hangman. The Hierophant in the reverse does indicate tradition order. So in on the mundane sense, it could just indicate that, you know, letting go of cultural, traditional, family, even um, customs, things that are outdated, things that are just no longer working for us, we are going to have to leave those behind, okay? At the same time, this is a card about marriage, okay? This is, um, it's in the reverse position. So for a lot of you, there might be a situation where you feel that somebody in your life that, that you have a very, very strong, significant bond with, especially for those of you who are either in a marriage situation where last year was a very bumpy ride, you might go through a period of um, cooling off or even reassessing whether or not the marriage is viable. For those of you who might have, you know, who you're, you have a child with someone and you're dating that person and you're living together, but you don't have an official, um, you know, marriage certificate, I definitely feel that you're kind of reassessing the situation to see whether or not you both can move the relationship to the next level. So that means, you know, possibly officially getting married or even um, getting that civil union, that certificate, so that you both can le legitimately call one another spouses, okay? So that's something that's coming through. But definitely family, tradition, especially a very strong marriage vibe here is indicated. But um, I do feel that it, it has a little bit of a negative connotation because it's in the reverse on top of the sacrifice card, on top of the enlightenment card. So I definitely feel that for a lot of you too, your views regarding marriage, your views regarding you know what it entails or what you want, from a marriage situation is definitely going through some drastic transformation. So if you, for example, it can go both ways. If you were somebody who has always wanted to get married, I do feel that you're going through a period of reassessment and you're thinking to yourself that, you know, I'd rather be on my own. I'd rather play The Bachelor, for example. So there's definitely some transformation when it comes to marriage, when it comes to love, when it comes to the family unit. And for those of you who are thinking about, you know, who have never wanted to get married, I do feel this is the month in which that, that 
that light is coming in where you start to feel like, hmm, maybe it's not so bad to come home to, you know, a spouse by the end of the day. Like, um, I definitely feel some ch shifts in the way that you're thinking about the something that it, it's basically, you know, whatever you were thinking about when it concerns marriage and family, there's definitely a little bit of a reversal or at least you're being more open-minded and you're you're thinking about the situation from all angles and you're feeling as if, you know, I was so against it before but now I'm feeling differently or I was so for it before and now I'm having second thoughts. So it's going to come through in that way. I do feel overall though, um, I want to say that this is honestly January. I don't feel it's a great month to date mainly because there are too many um, things that have been let go so you're starting on a brand new phase and you haven't really found your footing is what I'm sensing I do feel you know this major drastic changes are coming through there's a little bit of regret coming through there's a little bit of you know something that we have always counted on with the Hierophant reverse has basically slipped away from us for a lot of you this could be a partnership a romantic partnership has recently ended where you realize that you know this is a card about partnership as well with the two of wands it can indicate new project but overall I'm reading this for now on the love front this is a situation where two people are on different life paths and in order for them to work together well as a couple it requires a major lifestyle change okay so this can be you know you or the other person but either way in the reverse position it indicates to me that um, it, it might just be too hard both of you have your own lives and it's not about not wanting to sacrifice um, life is just it, it gets more complicated and the things that um, that are required to maintain this relationship you're realizing that is just too difficult okay and you're realizing that maybe you're just not on the same life path okay you might be on the same wavelength for all we know you could be in love with one another but life is and, and, and you know obligations and responsibilities are starting to to drive you both apart and you're starting to, you know, part ways and to go on a different journey altogether. So I do feel that because of it, there is definitely a sense of missing the other person, okay? It is greatly indicated here. Six of Cups, Five of Cups, Regrets, and Two of Wands. Things not panning out the way that we want on the love front. And uh, there is that other person. I feel like there is a person that you're thinking about. And um, you're realizing that it is for the best and you're trying to hold yourself together and you're trying to be very strong about this. And you're trying to even, you know, for a lot of you, you might just bury yourself at work or you're doing something else to get your mind off the other person. And you're trying your hardest not to communicate with them, okay? That's what I'm sensing, and I do feel, unfortunately, Capricorns, there is a sense of nostalgia. There is a sense of sadness coming through this January. Satisfaction from fixing things or from, you know, getting that result from all your hard work. But this one relationship, you're putting so much energy in, and that satisfaction for a job well done just never came in. And you're realizing, you know, November, December of 2015, you can no longer do it. And January is when you're telling yourself, okay, I'm physically, I'm done with this because I can't do it anymore. And you're devoting your attention elsewhere. And you have a lot of other projects and other people that you can devote your time to. But I do sense that for those of you who have just recently gotten out of a relationship and who are, you know, for this month, you want to find your bearing. You want to take some time off to be on your own and to, you know, just um, get back to the, the, the swing of life before you start dating. So I definitely feel that, that that's something coming in for you. For those of you, once again, in stable, established relationship, it's just, you know, 
um, relationships with Capricorns, I feel, are very, very stable. Your partner generally knows where you are, what to expect from you. So it's more, I would say, more of the same, but there are definitely some ideological shifts when it comes to marriage, when it comes to relationship, when it comes to dependability, and when it comes to what it is that you want in a partnership as well. I'm going to see if there's anything else I'm picking up for... Um, those of you who are going through, you know, transitional shifts, like major, major transitional shifts. Um, you know, this is also the month where the um, you can be traveling to see people from your past. This can be childhood friends. This can be, you know, younger siblings, cousins, nieces, nephews, and things like that because the, 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 um, the children card is showing up along with the Hierophant. So, for example, I'm sensing that you might feel a little bit overwhelmed when it comes to, you know, children. And I'm, I'm sensing that for a lot of you, it, it just could be, there can be concerns about children, children getting sick, and you have to, you know, take them to the doctor and finding the right medication or finding the right diagnosis and treatment in order to restore their health, okay? So that's one thing I'm sensing. There can also be situations where... I'm um, honestly, there are four cup, cups card, so don't, just be careful about, you know, over drinking and things like that, okay? Especially, just be very safe about driving. I don't even feel this is a, um, a New Year's festivities thing. I feel that it might be a birthday festivities thing that you're kind of going out of your way and you're, um... You might overdrink, or there might be some issues when it comes to transportation. So just take that, um, just be very careful with that, okay, when it comes to drinking. So you don't want to get into any type of trouble. So just keep that in mind. Be very responsible when it comes to celebrating your birthday, how much alcohol you're intaking, as well as um, how you're getting home. So that's the first um, message here. And I'm also getting as well. The, you know, usually like with the Five of Cups, it is the drinking card. So that's why I mentioned it as well as the Temperance card. So balance is going to be vital for you. So there might be a, um, for those of you who are looking for work, okay, for those of you specifically looking for work and are with or like either going through an interview process or <clears throat> if you have any types of interview lined up, I do sense that um, you might not get the, the call back until February is what I'm sensing. There is a little bit of a stall communication, and it is telling you to be very, very patient, okay? I do sense overall you are well-received, and um, the Hero Font card here is... Um, it's in the, the reverse. So the work environment that you're interviewing for might be a little bit unorthodox, whereas you're an earth sign, so you come across as somebody who's very structured, who might be a little bit rigid, so they're not sure exactly if you're a good fit. So they are reviewing your credentials as well as other people that they feel might be um, more a better fit. But I do sense that your credentials speak for themselves, so you don't have to worry. And I feel like, you know, callbacks and things like that, or even second rounds of interview coming through, not in January, but possibly in February, okay? And it looks very favorable, so the advice here is just be very patient, and things will come in their own time, all right? Once again, I don't sense it's such a great month to date, but I do feel that... Um, I, I do feel that you you need the time to find your bearing. I, I'm I'm sensing that you know everything is like um, kind of wobbly. You're starting out the month kind of wobbly, and then things will start to stabilize by the very last week of um, January, and then everything the communication will flow again. All the things that you're waiting on will will pick up. Okay, so don't procrastinate on the work front. Just be very diligent about that and be patient for this month, all right, Capricorns? I do wish you all a very, very happy birthday and a wonderful new year, and I feel that 2016 is going to be a very good year um, for, like I mentioned, for a lot of the signs, all right? And also February, I feel like new work, new job, new friendships and, and groups, associations coming through, especially towards the end of February for you guys.